Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. Yeah, we gonna talk. I, I saw one of your songs. Cash Money Remix, and you had Beat a Man on there. Oh, man. How did, that, how did that come about? Man, it's so crazy. Like, a lot of stuff in my life, it really happened off my energy. I really realized the power of my energy and the power of my tongue. You know what I'm saying? And so, when I speak shit, it used to be like a month or two to come into existence. Then it was like a week or so. Now it's like hours. It's shorter than days, no bullshit. That's it. Like it really happened, and I and I'm in tune with that shit. So um, I did that song, and when I heard it, uh, shout out Tasha Couture. That's the producer. She's a female. She produced it. But I was doing that Jagazal, Jagazal. So when I did the remix, after I did the song, I was posted on my page. I did the video, and I uh, I went to New Orleans. I shot the video in New Orleans. Juvie came to the video. Shout out, my, shout out to Musa. Musa used to be my manager. He managed Currency, but uh, he's like a plug in New Orleans. He's from New Orleans. Okay. So I shot part of it in the Know Your Projects. Mm -hmm. I shot part of it in the Calio Projects. If anybody know about New Orleans, they hate each other. It ain't no, you really oh, can't rivals. fuck with both. Mm -hmm. And then they did a second line in my video. Dang. A sick line is the big celebration of the dead when people die. Mm -hmm, but they mm -hmm. they uh, parade about two, three miles, and you get drunk the whole parade, and you turn up. Mm -hmm. So I did a second line in my video. But um, when I played it for Manny Fresh and Juvie, bro, they, they, they reaction just did it for me. Because wow. it's like, wow. Like, I really did this in memory of y'all. And when they heard it, Juvie's like, you did this right. He said, a lot of these niggas be fucking up shit like you did us right. I said, bro, can you please get on a remix? He was like, hell yeah. And Musa put it together. And then I asked Manny, he was like, hell yeah. And then I already had a relationship with Turk when he got out because I was just a fan of the Hot Boys. He was like, hell yeah. And Wayne was in a bad deal with the Carter shit. Mm -hmm. And I told Gazi, I was with Empire, I was like, Gazi, he finna get out. We need to get Wayne on this bitch right now. He was like, oh, you, do you know he gonna, I said, bro, <laughs> get him on it. As soon as we didn't, he got out the contract and released the new mm -hmm. Carter. And I was like, damn. Man. But it's cool. But Beanie Man, just for the simple fact that right. that Jacques out, I like to pay homage. Like these young kids, when they heard me saying that, they thought it was me. They're like, why you said that? Because they like, don't they know, know that song. It. You're right. Yeah. They but don't me, know. I don't want to take nobody credit. I'm the type of person, like, I want to I want to show mm -hmm. homage, bro. Mm -hmm. So I want to get the originators of the reason that I did this song. I want y'all on the song because this is my way of paying homage. homage. And I love that because a lot of artists, a lot of time, especially being Jamaican, when I hear certain things or certain rhythms from, you know, a song that I know, I'm like... Man, they stole that. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> they stole that. But so, but so, I love the so fact that he, he went and got him and get. But he, yeah. was, he was so, he was so like eager with, like he sent this shit back faster than any of them niggas. Damn, Benny was like, yeah, I, the, he was with it. And then he said my name in that motherfucker. Yeah, he, did. Like, no. he did. He did. He did. He did. <laughs> I like me. the way how he did it. Yeah, I fucked with Benny. Benny really killed. But did you get to meet him in person? Benny really killed. Oh, Benny really killed you, nigga. <laughs> That nigga energy, right? Juvenile it? still yeah. got it though. Don't play with him. That, that boy Juvenile was sliding on that motherfucker, just like he never left. Like he never left. Yeah. So when you think about the the South, them guys are pinnacles, man. Uh, even Birdman, just the whole layout, man. So how how big of an influence were they on your career you, before you got to meet them? That was a huge influence. But you know, I'm from Texas, bro. For sure. So I was like a Swisher House nigga. Well, you I was like, you, you SUC was like, and all that? I was really a chameleon head. Like, That's to your me, favorite guy. To me, <laughs> that was like Lil Wayne before Lil Wayne. Man, the chameleon has so many fucking bars. bars. Mm -hmm. Like, I'm a thinker. So I need a nigga that made me think. I can't just be, jam I can jam, but nigga, if you not saying nothing worth listening to, I don't want to hear that shit. Camino was a goat. He was like Wayne before Wayne. I'm going to be honest with you. Before Lil Wayne was saying them bars to make you think about every little intricate detail, Camino was that guy. And he didn't cuss when he did it. That's right. Did you mm. see him when he that came on Versus? All, I, I did. <laughs> you didn't see it? I ain't going to lie. The he Camino, ain't rapped it forever. The Camino <laughs> that became after he became like global was a completely different career. Mixtape Camino was a goat. Album Chameleon there, 
was not the same person. And it's like I'm mad because it's like the world. It's like because I'm so I'm so detailed and so into music. If I speak on something, I want somebody to take it seriously. But if they didn't hear the comedian I heard, it's hard to explain but how is, hard is this, he was, bro. Is this the one with Power Wild Big Swing was involved with him? This is before that. Even this is when he was by this himself. This is water boys. So you saying when he was walking is, around Dallas and, uh, and hanging out in, in, in the mall. Him like, 50, 50 little twin. Yeah. I'm talking yeah. about the whole, well, right, what's his brother's Le name? Oh, and all what's the boys. What's his brother's name? Rock, what, Rock, what? Boy, say 50, 50 twins, brother, man. What's Camille and her brother's name, man? Ross something. I never did know his brother because he brother was hard, hard too. All them niggas was hard. I know the fifty fifty twins went in, man. Yeah. Them boy was serious. Oh my god. He gonna have him looking him up. He I'm looking up. I got to. <laughs> yeah. What's comedian our brother name? Cause that nigga hard too. Comedian, I mean, man, we done been in VIPs and everywhere together talking about business, man. My wife kind of. Yeah, she, uh, yeah. The, the, Rizop. 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 Nigga, what? You crazy. What? That was Rizop? your guy. Man, Camino, oh my God. Anything he fuck with, I fuck with. Ooh, that I was didn't know a real Paul Wall was, I didn't know Paul Wall was a white boy about three years deep. Me neither, because he sounded like, <laughs> that's, that's a brother. Black. That nigga, yeah. that nigga saucy. could saucy. That nigga could go in, too. Mm -hmm. He fit right in on them on them songs, bro. That's a fact. That was great together. So, do you, what about, and, and that brings up another uh, deal, like, you, remember they had the two, they had the, they had the, the, and I always talk about this. They had the CD and then they had the screw CD. You could buy two at a time. Them niggas had it going. They were double dipping when the they were saying, Yeah, they were kicking it. Yep. And then they just fell on back from it because they started doing what everybody else was doing. And I heard the, they got in trouble for some time doing it that way. But man, that was a good era, bro. Yeah, no cap. That's back when Chase used to be one of the only places you could really go platinum out the trunk. Like you didn't have to be That's right. made or none of that shit. You could sell that shit right at the trunk. And you can go, you can make the same money that these rappers making going platinum. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk.